Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So apologies that I will not be carrying on with the uh, beautiful diamond painting I am doing of my Santa because um, as you know I got this diamond painting from Prism. I've done the, the full unboxing already. I'm not going to do include it again because I don't want to bore you twice with the same info and everything. Um, but yeah, uh, that was uploaded last or Sunday just gone. So I will do, I will link that video for the unboxing in here. Apologies about the lighting. It is absolutely piddling it down outside. And I'll tell you what, it is so dark and dreary today. It's unreal. So chances are the lighting is absolutely terrible. I need to buy one of those bright, bright white light bulbs for in here, uh, which would help the lighting situation. I do need to buy better lighting and everything anyway, but you know, it all takes time, it all takes money. So unfortunately, I haven't got that far yet. You know, the ring lights had to do the job so far. <laughs> and obviously I've managed to get that light fixed as well. But I think that's what I do, buy one of those bright white um, light bulbs are in here. And I think that would make a bit, a huge difference as well. Instead of like the yellow glow light. Why am I talking about that rubbish anyway? Right, yeah, so apologies. If you're looking forward to a this a, we continue on the Santa this week, I'm gonna get the one from Prism done first because the end of the day they've sent me that to review and everything for them. So, and I don't like the thought. They said there's no rush or anything else whatsoever, but they sent it to me, you know, to review and everything for them at the kindness of their heart. So I don't want to be sat here and make them wait for it. You know, I I just I feel really rude doing that, I would. So put the santa one to one side for now ordered um not ordered and i'm going to be doing that one instead if the um diamond painting itself by, is by chess carpenter amazing artist i am in a group chat with her as well it's just really weird how i have i didn't decide what one what diamond painting i was going to get and everything um literally they chose for me and i absolutely love it so they've obviously have seen a bit of what i've done or whatever um because obviously i have done people recently i've obviously done my nana Gwen. i haven't framed it yet but i've got the frame i actually got the frame done elm um 14 14 pounds so not so bad i will do the old frame of video for you guys because i know you guys like to watch that but yeah um so what was i saying so yeah it's my chess carpenter that is this one is in the stock images in the stock diamond paintings and obviously there's the other sections where they order it in for you um but yeah absolutely beautiful diamond painting really pleased with it um beautiful diamond painting absolutely stunning the colors are just right up my alley and then you've got like flashes of other colors in it and everything yeah, absolutely stunning so let's change the angle and then because i have recorded all this but other bits up to here because of work and all that so yeah so let's change that and everything and thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and if you haven't already please subscribe i really appreciate it and i shall see you all next time bye everyone i hope you enjoyed the video so i know this angle was not very good so i apologize and everything um but um, I just thought I'd just do a little teeny bit of kitting up with you and everything and um, yeah so I'm really excited to be doing this honestly I am so excited so what I normally do when I am kitting up um, I'm sort of stuck I just grab a colour and fill my tubs up basically I'm I'm not the biggest lover of um, kitting up eight three Ten. Look at all these three tens. There's loads of them. We've got forty-two colours, if I remember rightly. Yeah, forty-two colours. So we've got a lot of, of a lot, a lot, a lot, quite a lot of colours. And um, yeah, so we've got fifteen thousand of our three tens, and then we got nine thousand of the nine three nine well it's more of sixteen thousand so yeah i am super duper excited to be doing this and so what i do is if the sheet i have here isn't quite 
small enough, then I just write them out. Um, I either use masking tape or if I happen to have a few sheets of the old um, stickers. I do need to get some more stickers, but if not, masking tape works just fine. I just don't know what I'm doing with my masking tape. So uh, I do have, oh, there goes my some of my tape. I do have these, but as they normally come, as these come in baggies, usually it is quite easy to just tip them in. So, I'm gonna have a few of these. Move this spec slightly. So three tens is, yeah, it's the fourth color. So I will fill up, I can't remember how many of these pots I have. The, um, this case, storage case, one of my beautiful subscribers sent to me. And I do use so many different sets of storage, it's unreal. I always seem to have like quite a few projects on the go at once. So I'll just do three lots for now. And it's a bit of an exciting moment at the moment because my prism unboxing has just gone live. I just hope I've done a good enough job in doing it. I always get so nervous because obviously I get sent, I've been sent it for nothing and I always think, oh, I hope I've done a good, good enough job and everything. I do get nervous. I do worry about it. You know, I've been lucky enough to be sent to be sent it, and you know, I I like to do a good job. But the problem is, the excitement always takes over when I'm like doing something like that. So what I like to do is I like do the symbol and the DMC number. Right. So um, the problem is, I have mixed up all my colours, so that's my fault. I've mixed them all up when I was doing the unboxing, but that is fine, absolutely fine. So I will just put them all in the pots and this one is 161 and it is, oh, nearly, that was close. I just nearly tipped it all over. So yeah, I do the old symbol. So for this one it is S and it's 161. And if it is a number that could be accidentally swapped around, I'll do a line underneath it. Because that could easily be swapped round to... Actually, no. Yeah, it could do. Nine. Yeah, nine is that way. So, just to be on the safe side, I'll do an S161. White. It's okay though. I can still fit a good amount in these little jars. And then three three seven one. Well three seven one three is all the way to thirty eight. Oh I've got another number that is on this side, D. Yeah. D is number eight, and we have got 326326 is D. 326. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I must be do a couple of these. Three, 
three, two, six. Just so then I've got enough to keep me going for a bit. And then because they're baggies, once they're, you know, I don't have to worry about like tipping these into another bag because it comes in the baggies and not those horrible little one use bags. I, I, I do detest them bags. I just think it's a waste of plastic. I think for time, some sellers do just sell them in the bags. So I think it could be quicker just to count out like 50 little bags than it is to weigh it out. So, yeah, what do we do next? 315. 315 is number six. 315, 315, 315, I've lost it, number, so symbol number four, 315, and that is number, this one, there's no right or wrong way to um, put out your a little bit st st staticky, which is fine. I have dryer sheets, so it soon will solve that problem, which is not a problem at all. I will use me old, just to make it easier. They're just, just very slow. Not, they're not terribly staticky. Just very, very slightly. Uh, an old dryer sheet, bit of, bit of square dryer sheet will soon solve that issue. I'm going to turn that heating off in a second because I am boiling. number so I'm going to go in a second put on time lapse because I do not want to be boring you guys with me to sit here kitting up I've never done a kitting up video before so I'm not really sure like it sounds bad I don't really watch them so I don't really like understand how what you know to do it and everything but I thought I'd do a little bit of kit up because I thought some of you might like it. And yeah, you know, I, I must be the worst person at doing the kitting up process. But yeah, it is all a learning curve and everything. But and I'm going to have to go and cook dinner very, very shortly. So but I thought I'd come along and do a little bit of kitting up with you guys. Well, I might be the worst person at doing kitten up videos, so I apologise if it is that bad. But I thought I'd try and do like a little bit of a kitten up video. But yeah, so I apologise if it is bad. But I thought I'd give it a little tiny go. So, right, so let's skip to the old, and I realised my whole my ring light's been off for this whole thing, so the lighting's must be terrible. But that's better in it yep so yeah best youtube ever <laughs> but yeah um let's get cracking with the old um bit of, i'll do this for another like five minutes and then i'm gonna go and cook some dinner for me and my husband okay
Right, so I am just on F. The drills are, they just seem to be really sparkly. They are really nice drills. Odd little bit of junk, but that's fine. Um, it's not majorly like you get loads and loads and loads of junk. Literally, it's just a little tiny bit in the odd colour. Like the 820, there's a bit of junk in that. But it wasn't so bad that it was driving me bonkers, you know. Um, so yeah, we're on now on F. The drills are fitting together nicely. Little little tiny bit of gappage, but as we all know, I use my multi placer, and it's very common when you have your multi placer to have gaps. And this idiot decided to cut through her canvas when she was um, splitting up the section. The first section, I decided to cut right through here. So, yeah, I did that like an idiot. So, um, yeah, I wasn't too best impressed with myself. If you guys ever happen to do that, all you've got to do is get yourself a bit of tape, stick it on the back, and it's it worked. You know, it, it's it's good as new again it holds it together lovely and yeah so don't, or just don't do what i did and slice a massive hole for it because i am a plonker but yeah i decided to do that wasn't best impressing myself but i'm pretty sure we've all done it at some point i think that was the only the second time i've ever done that got a bit heavy-handed with um this little beauty it's a little ceramic, little pen cutter. And I'll tell you what, this baby is sharp. And I need to get some more again for my giveaways because I do like to include these in the giveaways because I think they're a handy little thing to have. And they just feel a lot safer to have, like laying around than your old craft knife, even though I do have craft knives in my, in my little tool caddy. But yeah. But... Yeah, so I decided to cut from a canvas, which was so clever, it's unreal. I am really enjoying this. Um, I apologise for not carrying on with the other one I was doing. But I thought, right, it's going to take me a while to... It would take me a while to get the other one done. So I thought it's only fair, because obviously Prism sent me this very kindly. And I, if someone sent me something, then I don't like to make them wait for ages and ages and ages. Unless it, I, I've got a few... Of, few bits from a company so i i wanted to get this done straight away and because it's only fair at the end of the day so i hope you guys don't mind and then i'll carry on with the other one once i've finished this one so yeah it is a 70 by 70 uh, square the print is absolutely beautiful i do not struggle to see any other print whatsoever because as you all know sometimes when it comes to some prints sometimes you just cannot see the numbers when the light pad is on but i have no issues reading this whatsoever um yeah so really really pleased how it looks you know how how the print is Because I do have to say it is a beautiful print. It really is. <laughs> so um, in my last video, I did mention that obviously Prism, all the images are licensed and everything. Uh, apparently a couple of slip through the, the um, slip through the thing, their fingers and they are currently scrolling the website, working 12 hours a day, bless them, trying to get you know the ones that slip through because obviously sometimes they think a image is copyright free and it just turns out it is not so there is a couple that slip through the net but they've been absolutely and utterly transparent about it working really hard and everything so honestly they are solving the mistake they made and yeah so it's not their intention to, um, you know, to fib to anybody or anything else. So they are working very, very hard and 
you know, kudos to them for owing up to them. They're boo-boo. We all make mistakes. We're all human at the end of the day, you know. Don't we all make mistakes? You know, that's the main thing. As long as, you know, they have they have realised they made a boo-boo and it's, they're sorting it out. And they're working really hard to make sure it's all sorted out. And I take my hat off to them, you know. They, they admitted, they went, yeah, we kind of messed up a little bit, but we're sorting it out. And I was like, not a problem. So, yeah, honestly, I I do, you know, admire their, their honesty. I really do. Not a lot of companies would do that. Um, I will give you an update regarding the other company that we have been discussing recently. It's now at the point where the artists are owed money still. And they are now leaving messages on the Facebook page and asking them to remove all their artwork from the website. And guess what? The owner of the um, company is just ignoring them all. She's ignoring all messages and everything else. Apparently there was a... It was a cute diamond painting, don't get me wrong. That she posted on as a deal type thing like a for 17 pound it was one of mickey and minnie mouse and they um you know it was it was down paying for ab's and all that poor glue bloody blah, blah guaranteed delivery by valentine's day and i had not seen one single post and today is the 15th The husband is getting the look right now because he thought his headphones were, um, what do you call it, um, connected and they bloody was it was they. Come on, everyone tell him you're Wally, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to go out with. What a What? Shh. I might have to block that out, actually, because of what they say. Uh, they, 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 they say, um... For the female thingy, um, the cat, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I reckon I'm gonna have to blur that bit out so you do not know what he, what they just said. He watches the side men. Some of you might watch the side men. I don't know how they get away with saying this stuff and still get monetized. It's crazy. What? I line it on YouTube. What? Yeah. It's not on YouTube. Oh, it's not on YouTube. What is it on then? Like, internet. Uh huh? On the internet, don't worry. Oh, okay, I'm confused. So, yeah. Silly husband, eh? I can't I lost all my train of thought now. I can't remember exactly what I was saying. Don't take much to confuse me, does it? So, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. We did have a funny moment on the way way home from work. Tired as, you know, you know, half asleep. We are can't wait to get home, have a cup of tea. And, like, we, um... You know when you see somebody, uh, there was this young, young girl, really, really pretty young girl... But she was wearing two different trousers. Like, her trousers' legs were two different colours. One was black, one was white. And you know when you see something, you just can't, and your brain doesn't, like... What do you call it? It doesn't register what you're looking at. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. And my husband went... What? I, I'm confused. I went, what about the girl's trousers? She, he went, yeah, what's they different colours? I went, yeah, one was black, one was white. He went, okay, as long as I weren't losing it. And then literally 30 seconds up the road, there's somebody walking a little Pomeranian, little dog. And for a second, I thought they were walking a chicken. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <coughs> 
Honestly, I honestly thought, and I was like, why are they walking the chicken? You know, and then I went to my husband, I went, I thought they're walking a chicken. And he, he didn't hear me say, I thought. He just heard me saying, they're walking a chicken. And he looked and went, they're walking a chicken. He went, I went, yeah, no. I said, they just look like it. He went, I thought there was for a second as well. And we were just laughing about that on the way home. How we just both thought that <laughs> somebody was walking a random chicken around the streets where I live. Oh, it was funny. We were just cracking up to ourselves. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know about anyone else, but when when I don't... I haven't sl I slept rubbish all week already. I don't know why. But some weeks I just do sleep rubbish. <laughs> and um, I just go... I don't know about anybody else, but I go... I go. I tend to go hypo when I'm tired. When I'm really, really tired, I tend to go hypo. So... Yeah, I just go, I go a bit loopy. It's quite funny. Or so, my husband goes. Sometimes, sometimes he finds it hilarious, uh, and then other times he just he just wants to put his hands around my throat because I'm just driving in that bonkers. <laughs> in in a jokey way, he would never touch me in a million years. I just want to state that. But yeah, it is quite funny. He goes, yeah. Sometimes you're hilarious, but sometimes I just I just I. I just want to <laughs> laughing at him. So yeah, so yeah, we did. We do have. Oh, I can't remember what we were laughing about the other day now. Oh, I showed. I showed him a video on TikTok about a train drive. There's a video. Uh, my friend Elizabeth, you know, because she's in a group chat with me on Facebook, and. Oh, absolutely hilarious! Is you if you oh, I don't know what you what you can Google, yeah, not search on TikTok, but it's like train signal, signalman and driver, and basically it's about somebody on a bridge. Um, um do doing something. And, oh, do you know what? We were just in stitches at the whole thing. It really, it, we really was. It so, sounds so sad, but we were just in stitches the whole time. When I when I showed him, absolutely hilarious. Right, so, um, i talk about a little bit more about this diamond painting, and then I will come off, because I reckon I've been jabbering on for, oh, only 12 minutes, or 13 minutes, it's just clicked on. I'm not doing too bad today. Normally, if I when I check, I've been I'm like in the twenties because I'm that bad. But obviously, this isn't gonna be like oh, because I've only just started this one, and so there's gonna be a tiny bit of time lapse, a tiny little bit of me set kitting up, and then um yeah. So obviously, I apologise that this video is a bit lacking, but I've only just started it, and then I need to. Um, once I finish this section, I need to finish my tray for this week. I'm a busy girl. I really am. So, yeah. Um, I am I am loving the colours so far. And literally, all I've done is blues and black. That is all I've really done is blue and black. So, yeah. But the drills are super shiny. Really, really. Oh, excuse me really really are shiny i am really enjoying these drills and don't get me wrong you know i really do hope i show how grateful i am for this um honestly you know i know some people will think oh you, you only get for free because you have a youtube channel yep yeah, that is partly because of it but don't forget um you know, I've been doing the channel for over a year. And, yeah, I have worked extremely, extremely hard to get my channel to where it is. And so it just feels like a little bit of a reward for me. 
it's like when any of you guys send me something you know i'm always so so grateful so so grateful you know i never expect anything at all in a million years <clears throat> i do keep getting asked to set up a pi box i think i will in a few months time at least you know i'm, I'm not gonna do it just yet but i will i keep getting asked if i could open a pi box and then But, you know, I don't expect anybody to ever send me anything. If you want to send me your spares, I'd be very grateful for them. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'd love people just want to get rid of their spares. You know, I'd, I'd be internally grateful for that. For if it's anybody that doesn't want them. Because I'm always, always using them up. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not doing it so people can't um, feel like they have to send me anything. I just get asked a lot, quite often, you know, am I going to be doing a PO box? And the answer is yes, I will be at some point, but not quite yet. Um, but I am, you know, I do feel like I am lucky when a company does want to work with me feel ever so lucky, you know, you know, and I, Prism, I didn't know they wanted to send, you know, they decided they was going to send me something, they just, I just honestly thought, I, they wanted my address, so when I do order, they know it's me, and, you know, and then, then the next thing they said, oh, there's a little something coming for you, and I'm like, what, and this isn't a little something, this is a, huge something you know i do feel extremely lucky and don't ever think that i'm not grateful because i am so so grateful it's unreal and i do feel very very lucky to be sent this extremely lucky and honored you know because this is still it's still costing it still costs them and everything yeah i would I am I I do like give up my time doing video reviews and all that and it obviously be a multi parter and everything. But you know, I still feel extremely grateful and extremely lucky when a company does want to send me a product. I really do. So, you know, I am I do feel really lucky. Really, really lucky. And I hope that I do the girls justice in these reviews and everything. Because obviously, like, my unboxing video, I was so excited. I must, I must have completely messed it up. But, you know, they are such lovely girls. They really, really are. So, you know, I do recommend going over and checking out the website and everything else. I really do, you know... They do have some beautiful things. And this one, uh, this diamond painting is by Shares Carpenter. This one is in the stock kits. So you can get, if you want one of this artist, this one is in the stock kit section. So, and there is quite, there is a nice selection of stock kit um, products. And then obviously there is the other sections and everything else where the ones they order in. So, but there is a very, very, very good selection of what they do. I'm molting again. I'm still molting. But yeah, honestly, you know, go check them out. Have a look at their website. They've got some beautiful diamond paintings on there. They really do. And so far, I absolutely love the quality. And I love going one of my fingers over and... The other one I haven't pushed down properly. Just pushing it down my finger. Anyone else love doing that? It always feels very satisfying. But yeah, so I need um a a a a little a little a little a eight two four eight two four. 
So yeah, I am going to go um, because we are now up to 19 minute mark. With the other talk talking when I've set it up earlier, we'll be early in this video. This will put this video quite long again. And you girls always seem to make our videos really, really long. So I am going to go. I'm going to... Um, I'm not going to change the angle to myself to close the video. Uh, I'm just going to leave it here. Um, I hope you guys don't mind me doing that. Uh, so, yeah. I'm... Yeah, I just think... Oh, just time. It's time. I, I'm, I'm running out of time. This video's due up in about four hours. So, time is getting on. And your girl needs to get her bum into gear and get this video edited and get it up. So, I've got enough time... To to have it loaded up and I, oh, I just quickly want to say apologies about Thursday night's video I somehow or something happened I don't know what but I ended up I ended up loading this video onto YouTube again instead of my tray so that's what happened but it did go up and it also was uploaded late because I overslept I had wake. I normally get up at half five, but I had to waking up at half six, then no, half eight, and so literally had to get dressed and get to work. So apologies about that, and also, um, yeah, for that being late and being the wrong video. So I did. It did go up on Friday instead. So I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. So yeah, I, I was having a moment or something. So yeah, let's let's get cracking why is i gonna say that so yeah so i apologize about that so yeah so thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like the video leave me a comment down below what you think of how my diamond paint is coming on so far and if you haven't already please subscribe i really do appreciate it thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you all next time bye everyone